Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Welcome to part two of my tutorial series. Okay, so what you're looking at in this video is pretty much how I lay out my uh, page. Um, I'm in Corel Painter right now, and what I've done is taken a reference that I found of Gwyn's costume, laid it out, and took a picture uh, that I illustrated for uh, the Spider-Man uh, upper deck cards and uh, use that as reference to the style that I wanted. Same process on that piece. I sculpted the Superior Spider-Man and ZBrush, did, uh, you know, did the rendering and lighting and all that good stuff. Even made the brick wall back there in uh, ZBrush. And uh, you know, once I put on my, uh, you know, some colors, laid in some colors and did some texturing and did a key shot render with the lighting exactly how I want. Uh, I was able to get some really nice rim lighting. So that's what uh, I've been doing for, I guess, the past year or so. And so now what you'll see is I'm just kind of going in and painting over the, uh, the Gwyn. Um, you can see where it looks really kind of sketchy underneath. That's the area that I did the, uh, the clone. So the colors are laid down and the basic shapes and everything, but not so much detail that it's all there. Uh, the other thing that I really like about this technique is that you get some really nice, uh, like happy accidents. You know, I grew up watching um, Bob Ross on TV. Still to this day, probably the uh, the coolest white guy with a big afro that I've ever seen. And I just really loved when he would talk about finding happy accidents. And so. What you're getting and, and what I'd like to leave in my paintings a lot of times are these areas where the canvas kind of pokes through. You can see on her shoulder and her neck. Uh, those are all areas where the canvas is poking through. Those dark areas are coming through the white and it looks very painterly. Um, and I dig that a lot. So there's uh, parts that I'll paint over. There's parts that I'll leave there. But it's all kind of to the service of coming up with something that looks hand done, you know, that doesn't look digital. So right now I'm kind of blending the area around her goggles. I was kind of confused as to how I was going to do this part because in the, in the comics it looks like it just kind of blends out those pink areas of her goggles so it doesn't look kind of like Peter Parker's plastic um, you know, goggles or whatever, so I don't know. I just wanted to have that that look and um, a lot of times the the fun thing about painting these pieces is just figuring out how you're going to approach these uh, you know these details it's all in the details everything is without the details I mean what's the point right so as I mentioned earlier I kind of came up in the fashion industry designing t-shirts for a lot of years and um, you know I right out of high school I started making t-shirts and been with a few companies since then I've also worked with a lot of cut and sew guys so I apply that to these pieces you know I, if it makes sense in the real world that's what I want in the painting there's a lot of artists who paint superheroes and like do awesome jobs but they may not care about the engineering of the suit or even if it makes sense I want my work to look like it could exist in the real world and I think that's what's so cool about a lot of these Marvel movies is that they uh, they really take the time to make the costumes make sense. If you missed part one click on the link below and keep your eye out for part three. I'll see you then.